Vote counting continues following Sunday's runoff vote in Mali. Incumbent President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita is facing off against opposition leader Somalia Sisse. Observers say the election in general was being conducted well, but the turnout was low. CGTN's Panina Karibe is in Bamako and filed this report. No delays for polls to open in Sunday's runoff vote. Incumbent President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita was one of the first to cast his vote, and he referred to the light as an African blessing. Observers, too, were weighing in. The news we are getting is that everything is going on well, but there are some issues in some rural areas, but here in Bamako, because of the rain, people have not yet come out to vote. But as the day goes by, we expect the turnout to increase. There are over 10 voting streams in these polling stations, but most of them have remained empty. And despite optimism by some observers that turnout will pick up as the day progresses, the situation has not changed much. But ahead of the vote, there were concerns over a low voter turnout, and it had nothing to do with the weather. I don't think the government has been able to secure all the areas because there are areas that terrorists attack. And even if the government says it has deployed security personnel there, people will still be afraid to come out and vote. I think it's a question of choice also. Because the two guys who are here, so they are 75 years and 69. And really the Malian, the Malian population expected a change. So that's why you see there are a lot, there, are, there is not a lot of people. So there are, there is a lack of choice whom to vote. The first round of voting last month was marred by opposition accusations of irregularities. Opposition leader Sumaila Sisi cites cases of ballot stuffing and parallel electoral lists. And it's believed a fifth of the country's polling stations couldn't operate due to security concerns. Those concerns continued in the second round. We met with the security minister and he promised to send security personnel to secure the high-risk areas during this exercise. Authorities deployed additional security forces for the vote. 36,000 of them have been trying to keep the peace. Their presence has done little to assure many voters. The government is lack of everything. They didn't prepare anything to organize a vote in this area. So the insecurity is here since 2011. But really, it's increased in 2014. And since that day, the north and the center part of some center in the Mali, there's insecurity. So there is no opportunity for them to vote. So, you know, now the Mali is divided in two. We can say only the south part, but the north part and the part of the center, they are not voting. So how can you talk about a democratic process? And a low voter turnout could put into question the legitimacy of the vote. But President Keita has been adamant. He believes Mali's troubles are now over. Penina Karibe, CGTN, in Bamako, Mali.